You are welcome to the Plant Therapist YouTube channel. In this video, you will learn about an interesting plant which comes with a beautiful yellow flower to brighten your day. It is commonly called the African sunflower or the hemorrhage plant. You will learn about the several medicinal uses of the different parts of this plant. The scientific name for African sunflower is Aspelia africana, Aspelia africana, and it belongs to the plant family Esteraceae. Other common names of the African sunflower are white sunflower or hemorrhage plants. In Nigeria, it has several local names like Nyunyu in Yoruba, Oragila in Igbo, Tuzalin in Aousa, Edemedong in Efik. African sunflower is a semi woody herb and is perennial, that is, it grows yearly. It has different varieties and it is often seen as a weed of cultivated land and fallows. African sunflower, commonly referred to, has the hemorrhage plant in some community where the plant is distributed due to its unique potential to stop bleeding. It can be found widely across tropical Africa, Madagascar, and Latin America. It is found occurring on grassland, woodland, forest margin, and abandoned cultivated zones. The traditional medicine. How is African sunflower used? African sunflower has been classified as a low toxicity plant. It is used in the treatment of wound. The fresh crushed leaves and flower of the plant are said to have extraordinary properties to stop bleeding. The infusion from the crushed leaves is applied on the wound throughout many African communities to stop bleeding, prevent microbial growth on wounds, for cleaning the surface of sore, and accelerate wound healing process. The leaves of African sunflower are commonly taken as an infusion by women after childbirth. A leaf infusion is taken to assist in childbirth and also to increase milk flow in women after childbirth. In addition to their growth treatment, the leaf decortition is also believed to be important in alleviating menstrual cramps in women. The leaf is important as painkiller and sedatives. Note, African sunflower taken orally can cause uterus contraction and hence expectant mothers are warned against taking the decortition of any part of this plant as it may result in abortion. In some West African countries, Women boil the leaves of African sunflower and the decortition is strong to prevent conception. Therefore, it indicates that African sunflower may have some contraceptive or anti-fertility properties. The leaf of African sunflower plants is also taken as treatment for gonorrhea. The leaf decortition is also taken for the treatment and management of sexually tra transmitted diseases such as gonorrhea. Using African sunflower leaf as a wash for face and eye to relieve feverish headache. Water in which leaves have been squeezed with a little salt and lime juice added is used as an eye medicine to remove corneal opacities. The water with only salt added is used as an high lotion for sun blindness. The sap from the crushed or pounded leaf is applied topically to treat bee, wasp, or scorpion stings. The sap from the flower has also been used to treat scorpion stings. Just as the leaf, the root of African sunflower also have several medicinal uses. The sap from the crushed root is applied to wound to promote rapid healing and to stop bleeding. The decoction from 
a mixture of leaves and roots has been used for treating pulmonary hemorrhage. The cold water extract of crushed roots is administered orally to treat a number of conditions including sore throat, diarrhea, gonorrhea, intestinal worms, dysentery, and as an antidote against snake poison. The roots can also be chewed and the sap swallowed to induce appetite, especially in patients. In some East African countries, the root decortition is used to treat and manage tuberculosis. Apart from the medicinal uses, many communities also use the plant as fodder for anima and has building material. Note, an oral dose of up to 10,000 mg per kg body weight of sunflower ethanolic leaf extracts was safe for animal and human, thus supporting the common traditional use of the extract as herbal medicinal remedy. It is important to use the extract with caution though. This is due to the possible harmful effect, especially on the reproductive system, on prolonged use of high concentration of the extracts. Kindly click the like button, subscribe if you are yet to do so, turn on the notification bell, and also help in sharing this video. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Bye bye.